rounding to the nearest thousand and beyond. Did you know you can use the strong numbers five and above and the weak numbers four and below to round to any digit? Let's start with rounding to the nearest thousand. When rounding to the nearest thousand, the result is a multiple of 1,000. Numbers that end with three zeros are multiples of 1,000. You say them when you skip count by thousands. Which of these are multiples of 1,000? Look for which end in three zeros. These are 3,000, 8,000, and 12,000. Let's explore rounding to the nearest thousands. First, let's think about number lines. Between 0 and 1,000, 500 is the midway benchmark. Anything with a 4 or less in the hundreds rounds down to 0. Anything with a hundreds digit of 5 and up rounds up to 1,000. On this number line, 275 is below the midway 500. It rounds down to 0 because it is closer to 0 than 1,000. Where is 842 on the number line? Between 800 and 900, it rounds up because it is closer to 1,000 than 0. On this number line, any number from below the midway point of 1,500 rounds down to 1,000. Any number at or above the midway point from 1,500 to 1,999 rounds up to 2,000. This pattern continues. On this number line, any number from below the midway point of 2,500 rounds down to 2,000. Anything at or above the midway point rounds up to 3,000. The rules for rounding to the nearest thousand are like the rule for rounding to the nearest hundred or tens. Look to the right of the thousands at the hundreds digit. If the hundreds digit is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, round down. If the hundreds digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, round up. In other words, if the digit to the right is 5 or above, give it a shove, round up. 4 or below, let it go. You can think of the numbers as strong or weak. The strong numbers, 5 or above, can give the thousands a shove up. They have the power to do this. The weak numbers, 4 or below, cannot make the thousands change. Round 4,537 to the nearest thousand. 4,537 is between what benchmarks? It's between 4,000 and 5,000. Let's underline the thousands place and look at the digit to the right. Is the digit to the right weak or strong? There are five hundreds, five is strong. The strong numbers make the thousands change. It gives the four a shove up to five. We round up to five thousands and the digit after the thousands change to zeros. You can use the rule to round any number. You can round to ten thousands. Let's take a look. First, we'll underline the ten thousands place and we'll look at the digit to the right. Is the digit to the right weak or strong? There are three thousands. Three fits into the category, let it go. It is a weak number. We won't change the ten thousands or the numbers before it, but the digits after that place change to zeros. You can also use the same rule to round to the nearest million. Take a look. For this number, we can underline the millions place and look at the digit to the right. Five fits into the give it a shove category. It's a strong number, so it can make the millions change. We can change the millions from four to five, and the digits after the millions become zeros. Now you can round to the nearest thousands and beyond. Just remember, look at the digit to the right of the place you're going to round to. If the digit to the right is five or above, give it a shove and round up. If it's four or below, let it go. Thank you for watching.